I'm Dr. Tiffany Bland with Salem Memorial District Hospital. Recently, there have been many changes within our local clinics and hospitals, and you may find yourself looking for a new provider for your children. At SMDH, we would like to reach out to the community to let you know that we do see patients of all ages. Most of our providers are family practice, which means that we have been trained to see well child visits as well as sick visits. Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. Duncan Family Chiropractic provides chiropractic care to everyone from newborn to elderly. Dr. Duncan treats wellness, sports injuries, chronic ear infections, pregnancy, and more. Ask Dr. Duncan about your full line of supplements, including Juice Plus and Standard Process Supplements, as well as pain relief, BioFreeze products. Welcome to this special broadcast of KSMO Media. Tonight, we're live from Bunker. It's basketball. This game is being brought to you by People's Community Bank, GNS Convenience Store, Big Mama's Buchetto Bistro, Mel and Linda Ritter, Keisha and Junior Meyer, R and R Lawn Care, Love of God Ministry, NH Auto Supply, Salem Memorial District Hospital, Farm Bureau Insurance. Bank of Salem, Napa, Monet Auto Supply, Progressive Ozark Bank, Taxmasters, Southwest Baptist University, Salem Campus, Town & Country Insurance, Terrell Complete Auto Care, Edward Jones, Duncan Family Chiropractic, State Farm Insurance, Salem Trust, South Town Furniture, Stephen Patterson, Attorney at Law, Living the Dream Outdoor Property, Wilson Mortuary, Elwood Real Estate, Dent County Vet Clinic, Blind by Design Health Center, Hometown Mechanical, Ozark Overhead Door, Healthy Dent County, and Town Screen LLC. And now, get ready for Bunker Eagles Basketball. While well, we welcome back to the Bunker High School Gym, we've got game two of our double header here as the Lady Panthers defeated the Bunker Lady Eagles, and they kind of pulled away in that fourth quarter, winning at 78-39. And tonight, it's kind of a rematch, I guess, the first game since the district championship last year where South Iron edged Bunker. And, of course, South Iron went all the way. And when you start thinking about that game and the consequences of it, that was probably the closest game they had in their run. So when you start looking at that and looking at this game tonight, it's a good potential warm-up. These uh, two teams could end up meeting a couple times, possibly in the Black River League uh, tournament as well as in district play again. So this is kind of a, I don't say a warm-up game, but kind of a maybe let's see how we play against this team this uh, this year. Get ready for that one. A win by Bunker would give them a lot of confidence going into the second game. And same thing on the other side. A win by South Iron gives them that, that edge going into that Black River League tournament as well as the district play. So you just never know how it's going to work out. We do want to thank our local sponsors, People's Bank for them sponsoring our game tonight, along with Big Mama's Buchetto Bistro, GNS Convenience Store, the Love of God Ministries, Keisha J.R. Meyer, Mel and Linda Ritter, and R&R &R Lawn Care. There are local sponsors here in Bunker helping bring you this contest between South Iron and the Bunker Eagles. And we look forward to this game. It's going to be a lot of fun. We also want to remind you, if you missed the last year's playoff game and didn't get a chance to see it, it is available on the Mission website, by the way. It, it is free now. It is free now. You don't have to pay to see it, but it is free. You can go watch the whole game, or you go on YouTube and you can watch the highlights of that contest, and you can even do that at halftime if you wanted to uh, between this game or just keep it right here. But in your spare time, you want to see the highlights of that contest last year. It was, it's well worth your time, and that's a five-minute recap of that contest uh, that we put on YouTube last year. But again, the, the entire game is on the Mission website. It's on their Mission.tv site, and I do not believe you have to pay for it now. It's been a, it's out of the season, so you don't have to pay. Okay, let's give you the starting lineups for this one for South Iron. They'll be starting out Gabe Rubel, Sawyer Huff. Martez Burst, Will Malone, and Colton 
Dinkins for the Bunker Eagles. Their starter will be Romello Henderson, Jaden Bullock, Andrea Loxley, Owen Sanders, and Cade Sutton. So the Eagles and the Panthers. The Eagles, by the way, in the white uniforms with the green trim and the numbers, the over-the-shoulder stripe and the striping on the shorts. Panthers are in their black uniforms with the burgundy numbers and white trim, white lettering. Very nice looking uniforms by both teams. So we're ready to get this one underway. Nice crowd on hand to watch this one. Bunker, South Iron. It's coming up right now on KSMO Media. Welcome, glad to have you here as Sutton will tip it off. Going up against Sawyer Huff. These two guys tipped off last year in that championship game for districts and it's Cade getting it back and Bunker controls the ball at the outset. With the ball right now, it's Bullock. Anderson back to Bullock. They keep it on the perimeter, this Bunker, down to Loxa. Bunker taking their time against South Iron Panthers. Very good defense by South Iron. They do a lot of shifting around. Try and keep you honest. Henderson back on top, Loxa. Giving left side pass to Bullock. Goes in the corner. Trying to drive in as Henderson can't. Goes back to Bullock and Bunker will reset. Out near center court. Bullock has it. Trying to slow this down to Sutton. Sutton trying to drive in. Can't. Kicks it back out on top. Trying to drive in was Loxa as he saw an opening, but he traveled. Gives that ball right back to the Panthers for the first time. A good 45 second possession by the Bunker Eagles with that ball Huff in the corner. Bounce pass out on top to Dinkins. Goes into the corner. Panthers trying to fire it across. They go back in that corner to Dinkins. Go back between the circles to Burst. Burst goes down low into the paint. Jump shot up there by Huff. Don't take blocked away by the Eagles. Are kind of stolen, really. Back the other way. Bunker has it. Standing with it is Bullock. Fake the shot, kind of trying to draw the Panthers off their feet. Comes right back and controls the ball over to Sutton for the three. It's good. Hey, that's the three. Three nothing. Eagles on top. Martez bursts with it. Martez between the circles, hanging on to it. Flips it right side to Rubel. Rubel, bounce pass in the corner. Waiting for it over there. It looks like Dinkins. Dagan's turned around, took the 10 footer and hit. At the right side to Henderson, trying to force that ball in to Cade Sutton, and a foul is going to be called on South Iron. Will Malone with that foul. Trying to get in to Sutton, he does, and Sutton is fouled as Burst came over, blocked the shot, but contact was made with the body. And again, Will Malone gets the foul. That'll be his second as Hunter Huff gets ready to come in. Sutton, who has the three, hits the free throw. So Huff comes in the game. Sutton, he had one more free throw with 5.44 to go first quarter, and he hits that one as well. 5-2, Bunker Eagles. Dinkins over the timeline. Stops, now wants to go back the other way. Can't, good defense by Bunker. Flips it over to Rubel. Back to Dinkins between the circles, Dinkins. Trying to drive in, jump shot up, spins out, no good. Taken down by Sutton. 
Sun the other way, down the right side. Ball stolen away by South Iron. Back they come, Dinkins all the way down. Short pass across over to Rubel, and he banks it in. Second turnover by Bunker. Pass down to Loxa, back to Sutton. Sutton turns, spins, giving it to Henderson. Henderson beyond three, back to Loxa. Back to Henderson, they play catch on the perimeter. Now across to Bullock for a three, it's good. Bullock hits the three. Second three for Bunker in the game. They lead it eight to four. First has it, giving it to Dinkins. Dinkins to the middle of the floor, stops between the circles. Looks right, looks left, fires it across. Getting it there to burst. On top, Huff. Huff trying to drive in, ball tipped, but stolen away nicely with a good spin move by Loxa to Sutton. Sutton stops, 12-footer off the iron, no good, and brought down underneath by South Irons, uh, Sawyer Huff. Nice steal by the Eagles right there, their first. Pass comes to Rubel, he'll take a long three off the iron, tipped and goes out of bounds off of the Panthers. I believe they'll say it went off of Hunter Huff out of bounds. And with 3.57 to go in this, the first quarter, 8-4 Eagles. Bunker's been very patient so far in this first quarter. Here comes Cade Sutton. Going back to Bullock, right side pass to Henderson. Out to Loxa, back to Bullock. He hit a three moments ago. Bullock guarded out there by Marquis Burst. Flips it back on out to Romello Henderson. Henderson left side pass, Cade Sutton. Three and a half to go first quarter. Eight four bunker. Sutton driving down, short jumper. No good, partially blocked, I believe. And an official stand from it, could not quite see that as Burst brings it down. Goes in the corner to Rubel, back on top. The three is up and good by Sawyer Huff. One point ball game, eight seven. Bounce pass comes to Loxa for the Eagles as they get across the timeline. Pass across to Bullock, his three. It pinballs out, no good. Taken under control by Loxa on a rebound. Andrea trying to fire the boss, tipped out of bounds by the Panthers. Andre trying to find the man underneath the basket and then Panthers deflected it out of bounds. It'll be long to the Eagles. Bullock will try and inbound that. Jay does get it in. The jumper's too short. Comes out high into the hands of Henderson. Henderson, shot by Bullock, will not fall. Captured there by Marquise Burst. He gives it off to Martez Burst. Back to Marquis. Marquis near center court and the Eagle insignia there. That ball tipped out of bounds. By Loxa, intended over there for Rubel. Good read by Loxon. Checking out in Loxa. Evan Houston comes in. Owen Sanders already checked in for the Eagles as well. With two and a half to go. 8-7, first quarter action. Pass to Sawyer Huff. Sawyer back on top to Burst. Marquise and Martez play catch. Back to Rubel. Rubel bounce pass inside. Trying to get it there's Kruger. Back to Rubel now to Burst. He goes in the corner to Martez. His shot no good. Taken by Bullock. Bullock the other way. The long pass intended. Comes down the hands of Mel Henderson. And a kick save by Martez Burst. And the ball belongs to the Bunker Eagles with 1.57 to go. Long pass by Bunker. Almost turned the ball over, but they were able to get the ball back. 8-7, Eagles lead it. Pass goes out on top. Long three off the iron, no good. And Huff has that rebound. Long pass the other way to Burst. Burst running jumper. It will not go put back up by Brother Martez, and it won't go down. Bullock has it. Can you go to the timeline? Getting it there to Sanders. Across to Bullock. 
Open for the three. Instead, tries to come down with a two. Not going to make it, but take it underneath the basket there by Owen Sanders. Trying to get it back out. They do to Bullock from the corner for the three, and he's got it. Jaden Bullock, second three, 11-7 bunker with a minute 10 to go. Pass to Burst, left side. Getting it over there is Dinkins, who's back in the game, and a timeout called by Coach Dusty Dinkins. 1.03 to go, first quarter, 11-7 bunker, back in 30 seconds. This is Eagle Basketball on KSMO Media. If you have the audacity to believe a financial advisor should talk with you, not at you. If you believe access to your financial advisor should be a right, not a privilege. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. Join us. Edwards makes sense of investing. Earlier tonight, it was South Iron over Bunker. 78-39. Big night by Madison Ayers with 26 points, 22 by Anna Parker right behind that. So Marquise Burst has it on the initial inbound. Gets it back, now off to Dinkins. Dinkins to Martez Burst. Back to Dinkins. Has some space, 44 seconds, top of the key. Now moves to his left, bounce pass over to Martez. Burst, he flips it off the glass very high. Comes down in the hands of Henderson. Henderson for the Eagles with 30 seconds to go. In the offensive zone, picked up there by Dinkins. Drives to his left, all the way down, scoops it up and in. Melo Henderson with a real nice play. 13-7 Eagles all the way down. His burst tied up and stolen away by the Eagles, and a foul's going to be called on Martez Burst. The steal, the second by Bunker in the game. And Martez gets his first foul with 16.4 seconds left. What a job by Loxa to tie him up and then take the ball away. Henderson has it. Henderson all the way across to Bullock. Bullock takes an NBA three. It's good! Bullock with one second left buries the three from way beyond NBA. He has nine and the Eagles lead it 16 to seven after the first quarter is over. We're gonna come back in a minute. This is Tiger basketball and Eagle basketball. Everybody on KSMO Media. I am a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent here to talk about life, your life your dreams, your work, your family, and how you can protect it all with a company that will talk to you with the honesty of a farmer and take care of you with the integrity of a neighbor. I'll make sure no detail is left uncovered so your family can breathe easy. Because just like you, I chose to build a life in Missouri too. I'm a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and I'm from Missouri for life. Every project is different, which is why Salem Trust uses modern engineering software to design, then construct quality trusses for your home, barn, or business. The size of the job doesn't matter, but the quality of the work does, which is why Salem Trust will deliver their trusses anywhere. Proud to support the Salem community, they're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 4.30 and Friday from 7.30 until 11. For more information, call Salem Trust at 729-9276. I guess there's just nothing better than a last second shot that goes down. Salem Lady Tiger basketball last night. Kaylin Moody hit one, and I mean that ball left her hand just a half second before the buzzer, and it did nothing but barely even touch the net going through. Talk about just incredible. That similar shot right there from Jaden Bullock. 16 to 7, Bunker on top. Burst in the corner to Dinkins, and he walks with the ball. Colton Dinkins took off, shifted both feet. Gets called for the walk. Bullock will walk it up, taking his time. Gives it left side to Loxa, back to Bullock. 
Bullock flips it down low, intended for Sutton. Back on top, short jumper, no good. And get down, putting it back up again, no good. Third time, no good. Each time, Kate Sutton with two strong rebounds and one by Owen Sin uh, Sanders. Could get it to go. Just would not fall. Eagles get inside. Cade's shot no good, but he is fouled. And he's going to go to the line to shoot two. He's two for two from the stripe. Foul called, by the way, on Hunter Huff. That one misses. Evan Houston back in the game for Sanders. Sutton trying to extend that lead to 10, and this one is good. Some full court pressure right now as Houston gets up and bursts his face. Bounce pass across to Rubel, back to Burst. They're in the offensive zone. Burst, bounce pass back. Getting it right there is Huff. And then Huff runs into Loxa, but Loxa draws the foul. First foul on Bunker, by the way, on Andre. Trying to inbound it is Malone, getting it to Burse. Burse, right side pass to Rubel. Rubel beyond three, goes in the corner. Getting it there, Malone. Back inside, going to Dinkins. Blocked there by Cade Sutton. It comes down to the hands of the Eagles. Cade timed it perfectly. And then a ball off the foot of Locks that goes out of bounds. Starting. Turnover number three for the Eagles. As Burst will bring it back up. Martez stops, goes right side to Rubel. Rubel in the corner. Dinkins. Back out on top to Burse. Burse has Sutton come out at him. Stops, looks inside. Now bounce pass right side over there to Will Malone. Back to Burse. Left side pass to Dinkins. A lot of shifting by the Panthers here. Dinkins trying to drive in. Can't. Goes in the corner. Down to Burse on the baseline. Burse waits, then puts a shot up and gets it to go. Nice patience there by Martez Burse. 17-9, here comes Bullock. Bullock flips it down in the corner to Sutton. Jump shot, good. Cade Sutton on a nice, nice dish by Loxa. 19-9, Bunker on top, and a foul is going to be called on Bullock coming by, going for the steal. Jaden with his first, second team foul on Bunker. Exactly six minutes to go in the half. 19-9, Eagles with the lead. Burst has it, goes in the corner, Dinkins. Dinkins pushes off, no call. Bounce pass down low, off the glass, no good. Ball brought down and controlled by Sanders, and then he is fouled after Hunter Huff couldn't get it to go down. And Hunter Huff will have a second foul. Fifth team foul on South Iron. Hunter Huff checks out. Marquise bursts back in. Inbound. Coming to Romello Henderson. Double team there. Romello looks and has it stolen away, and then he has to foul. Romello trying to get that by burst, had it stolen away. His first foul. And Burst will be shooting two. Free throw's good. No free throws for South Iron in that first quarter. Two for two for Bunker, both by Cade Sutton. That one no good. Brought down control by Henderson. And he tries to bring it up the floor. He does, gets it down all the way to locks up as goaltender. Dinkins came by and goal tended. So that ball, that basket counts. As Andre Loxa gets the basket, 21 to 10. Pass down low to Burst, going baseline. Burst jump shot, charge called on Burst. 
He went over top of Sanders. Owen had his ground. And Marquis burst his first foul a charge. And with 524, the Eagles have the ball underneath their basket. The inbound to Sutton. Sutton all tied up by Burst, giving it back to Bullock. Bullock up the middle of the floor. Pulls back out, guarded there by Rubel. Bullock pulls off, stops, spins, needs a little help, goes back on top to Sanders, back to Bullock. Bullock, who has three threes in this game. Now to Sutton, 5-0-5 five five to go. Okay, trying to get a pick. Nothing there, giving it back to Loxa. Loxa handing it to Romello Henderson. Back to Loxa. Andre Sanders, who's going to burst, but threw it away. Sure, I'm sorry. He was going over for Cade Sutton and threw it away. As Burst was right there following Cade, and the ball went right by him out of bounds. 4.45 to go. We're in the first half. 21-10, bunker on top. Marquez Burst down low to have all alone. Laying it in is Will Malone. Good passing by the Panthers to find a man wide open. Inbound to Cade Sutton. Full court press by the Panthers. Here's Bullock beating that press. Gets across the timeline. Bullock now double team. Spins. Goes by two men. Stops. Needs a little help. Goes back to Sutton. Ball is a little bit low. Back to three-pointer from the corner. No good. Brought down by Dinkins. I'm sorry by Huff. Excuse me. All the way down. That shot misses. Sanders brings it down. Sanders needs some help. And then the ball hits the bottom of the backboard after being... Deflected and then a foul called on Gabe Rubel for the trip on Bullock. Gabe Rubel, his first foul. That is the I have that is seven. That should be a one and one, and it is. Bullock free throw is no good. Comes underneath the sun. K misses. After bringing that one down. Brought down on the backside by Huff. Down the other way. Rubel back to Huff. Huff to Dinkins. Dinkins beyond three. Backs it out. Now to Rubel. Rubel stops. Back to Burst. Martez Burst down near center court. Resetting for the Panthers. The Dinkins left wing. He goes back to the middle of the floor. Dingens flips it down in the corner to Rubel. Rubel with 3.33 left to go. Moves it out near center court, gets away from Bullock, stops for the three-pointer. It goes off the iron, no good. Kate Sutton with his fifth rebound. Getting it off to Bullock. Bullock all the way down the floor, and Bullock is tied up, and a foul is going to be called. He started losing control. And the second foul on Gabe Rubel. And he'll put Bullock back at the line to shoot. Jaden is 0 for 1. He'll get another 1 and 1 opportunity. 21 12 our score, 319 to go. Bullock ready to take that free throw. And it is no good. Tipped and it goes off of Sutton out of bounds. Kate tried to get that in a timeout call by coach Rod Gorman of Bunker. We've got 318 remaining in the half. It's Bunker 21, South Iron 12. Back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger Eagle basketball on KSMO Media. Southwest Baptist University campus in Salem provides quality higher education close to home for residents of Dent County and the surrounding areas. The classes at SBU Salem campus are taught in the afternoon and evenings, making a degree attainable for people who are in the workforce or can't afford to go off to get a degree. We offer degrees in nursing, which is an RN bridge program, elementary education. For more information on the degrees and programs, please contact admissions counselor Chris Welch to schedule an appointment as a prospective or returning student. Welcome back to Bunker High School Gymnasium, KSMO Media. I want to thank People's Bank, our title sponsor of the game tonight. Without them, we couldn't be here bringing you this contest. You know, next time you're in People's Bank, say a big thank you for bringing the contest on KSMO Media. 
Big Mama's Bugatto Bistro here in Bunker, also a sponsor, GNS Convenience Store, the Love of God Ministries, Keisha and J.R. Meyer, Mel and Linda Ritter, and R&R Lawn Care, all helping you bring this game to you tonight. Thank them for making it possible. 21-12, been a good game so far. The Eagles playing good defense, and the Panthers playing pretty good defense too, so low scoring first half. Ball tipped, almost stolen away by Bunker, and it goes off of, burst out of bounds after the tip by Loxa. Six turnover by the Panthers. Here comes Bullock up the sideline. In between two goes right past two Eagles and out of bounds. Bullock slipped down. Loxa came up to help him, and the ball went right by him out of bounds with 2.56. The ball comes inside to Burst. Burst brings it to the top of the key. Looks left side to Dinkins. Dinkins out on top to Marquis Burst. Marquis between the circles, left side, goes down to Dinkins in the left corner. That's Sawyer Huff down the baseline, gets it again. Sawyer so turns, spins, wants to shoot, partially blocked there by Cade Sutton. It goes out of bounds. It stays with the Panthers. It'll be Dinkins to inbound it. Goes out on top to Marquis Burst. He takes the three and he hits the three. No pressure on Marquis and he hits it. It's a 21-15 game. The other way, Romello Henderson trying to get away from Burst and a foul's gonna be called on Burst. And Willie's talking to him. So Marquis Burst gets the foul to the line. Will go Romello Henderson. Bunker one of four from the stripe here in this second quarter, and it could definitely use a couple of free throws here. Henderson's free throw is good. Two of five right now. Locks it, checks out. Next one is no good. Tip there by Sutton, but into the hands of Huff. Huff's got five rebounds down low. And a shot up and good. Count the basket by Kruger. And he is fouled underneath the basket by Romello Henderson. So off that miss, Kruger gets the basket. He'll shoot the free throw, and it is no good. Brought down and controlled there by Sanders. Anderson fires it across to Bullock. Bullock into the offensive zone in the corner, getting double team. Bounces it off. Marquis bursts out of bounds. It'll be long to the Eagles with 1.57 to go. Paxton Ritter will check in. The inbound comes to Sutton. Sutton back to Ritter, to Bullock. Back to Ritter. Ritter between the circles. Right side pass to Cade Sutton. Cade starts a drive back to Ritter. Didn't shoot, thought about it. Turn spins back to Sutton. Sutton trying to drive in. Stops from 10, the jumper will not go. And it's brought down and taken by Dinkins. Dinkins the other way, all the way down, scoops it up. It will not go. Ball loose on the floor, taken by Bullock. Bullock at his own end with a minute 20 to go. Circles around and gives some space. Now to Ritter. Back to Bullock, standing almost on the eagle at center court. Gets around Marquis. Stops, bounce pass outside to Sanders, back to Bullock. Bullock. Stops, doesn't shoot, back to Ritter. Down to a minute left in this half. Ritter stops, it's a little bit of trouble, gets into Cade Sutton, back to Bullock for the three. Off the iron, ball tipped, and shot down to Dinkins. Dinkins all the way down, waits, and then puts it home. Colton Dinkins with good patience. 
Bunker miss, now three point ball game. 30 seconds left, Sutton in the offensive zone. K turns, spins, ball tipped, loose on the floor, taken by South Iron all the way down and they bank it off of Cade Sutton's foot after the steal. 27 seconds to go. 22-19, Eagles lead. Pass goes to the corner. Now on top to Burst. Short jumper, will not go. Taken under control by the Eagles with 18 seconds left. Brought down nicely by Evan Houston on that miss. In the offensive zone, Bullock. Back to Sun. eight seconds left. Bullock, you're trying to get by Marquise and he fouls him with 4.8 seconds left. Marquise Burst now has three. To the line with a double bonus will be Jaden Bullock. But he's 0 for 2 from the stripe. He's got nine on three threes back in that first quarter. Free throw is no good. Bunker only six points in this second quarter so far. But they still have the lead. Next one, free throw is good. Quick pass goes up. Driving down is Marquise to kick it outside to Dingens for the shot. It's good. Are they going to count it? Count the basket. It is good. It, they're going to call it a three, though. I'm questioning that. Looked like a two. I don't know the officials are going to confer on that. But it looked like it was a two. I'm thinking it was a two or three. So we'll find out. 23-22 is what they have on the clock right now, which would have mean that was a three. But we'll see if that is what they do call. We're going to take a three-minute break here at halftime. Good ball game. 23-22 bunker on top. This is Eagle Basketball on KSMO Media. Your legacy, protect it, prosper, and pass it on. Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, specializes in real estate, estate planning, probate, family law, and business law. A Salem native, Stephen Patterson provides comprehensive representation to clients throughout Southern Missouri. If you need assistance, contact Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, at 573-453-2529. Surprisingly great rates? Contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Cameron Irway in Salem today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. With tax season fast approaching, you might have some questions that you need answered. If so, give the tax masters a call. They have over 40 years of experience and can handle all types of accounting services plus certified e-filing. Don't ever let yourself be a slave to the IRS. Come and see Jackie or Beth at Tax Masters located at 107 West 4th Street here in Salem or call 729-3001. Tarot Complete Auto Care is a full-service auto repair center in Salem. They offer full-service oil changes as well as $2 discounts on Tuesdays for all ladies and Wednesday is Senior Citizen Day. Plus, Tarot Complete Auto Care can take care of all your auto and diesel repair needs. They offer free pickup and delivery in town. 
James and Sheena and the staff of Tarot Complete Auto Care are proud to support the Salem Tigers. This is Mike Elliott from Town & Country Insurance. As an independent agent, we shop many different companies allowing us to find the best value for our clients. Town & Country Insurance has been serving South Central Missouri since 1963. We have offices in Salem, Rolla, Licking, and Mountain Grove and would welcome an opportunity to show you what we can do for you. Stop by 400 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard located inside the Town & Country Bank where you can call our office at 729-6624. Well, what a first half. Salem Tigers will be playing Eldon on Friday night. I hope that game is as exciting as this one has been in this first half. Bunker dominated the first quarter. South Iron came back, had a strong second quarter, and got a last-second shot by Dinkins to go down. It was not a three. It was a two. Therefore, Bunker has a 23-21 to 21 lead. Boy, you just wish every high school game could have this kind of intensity. And, uh, boy, it just it makes it so much fun to watch and actually to broadcast, too. And we want to thank all of you from all over. We you see a nice contingent of people watching. And it's only possible because of these great sponsors. People's Bank out of Bunker. They're our title sponsor tonight and make it all happen. Big Mama's Buccetto Bistro right here in Salem. GNS Convenience Store. Been around a long time. Great place to go. I can get my gas there when I'm coming through Bunker. Love of God Ministries, Keisha and J.R. Meyer, Mel and Linda Ritter, and R&R &R Lawn Care, all part of the great sponsors making it possible for us to be here at the Bunker High School gym for this contest between Bunker and also South Iron. We want to thank all our friends from South Iron side as well. We know that uh, they wanted to stream this game as well. And we uh, very, very happy to have them joining us. No problem. We do appreciate that as well great game so far bunker got out to a big lead 16 to 7 in that first quarter but coming right back south iron took advantage of some turnovers got uh, some nice shooting from colton dinkins near the end of the first uh, half put away a couple of twos and uh, then hit that last one right there that's right at the buzzer i guess i'm just if not barely beating the buzzer just did right at the buzzer so close enough but a very, very intense second half. Bunker was only able to score seven points, but they do lead it by two at halftime, 23 to 21. Bunker's inability to hit free throws in that second quarter really hurt them. They had opportunities, and when you don't make free throws, you sometimes pay for that later on. They were three of nine, three of nine in that second quarter, and they are five of 11 on the game. Meanwhile, when you look at the scoring for South Iron, they have not had those many free throw opportunities, and they are very good free throw shooting team. They're one of three, though, in that first half. Let's go into scoring for you. Jaden Bullock leads all scorers. He has 10 points, hit three threes in that first. Kate Sutton has eight, and he leads. he's second in scoring be it for Bunker or South Iron. Then three points for Romello Henderson and a couple of points for Andrea Loxton. For South Iron, their leading scorer, Colton Dinkins with six. Four for Marquise Burse. Two each for Eli Kruger, Will Malone, Martez Burse, and a three for Sawyer Huff and two for Gabe Rubel. Leading rebounder for South Iron is Sawyer Huff. Far and away, he has five. And... For the Bunker Eagles, it's Kate Sutton. He also has five. Bunker has out-rebounded South Iron in this game, mostly on the strength of the first quarter. I have it right now. This is unofficial, by the way, at 15 to 11 in the game. Foul trouble. Marquise Burse has three. He's the only one with three. There's two for Hunter Huff, two for Will Malone, two for Gabe Root from Hunter has two. Turnovers in this game have been pretty even. Six for South Iron, seven for Bunker. Steals, three for South Iron, and two for Bunker. So pretty even ball game, and it shows up on the scoreboard just that way. 23-21 here at halftime. We're going to take a two-minute break, come back with the second half. I can hardly wait. Should be a good one. 
It's South Iron. It's Bunker. It's high school basketball at its best right here on KSMO Media. Come back with us in two minutes. No matter what, every morning, farmers go to work doing what needs done. The work is unforgiving. The days are long. We are long. They nurture, they grow, they harvest. When the day is done, sell the fruits of your labor to your neighbors on Town Screen. Hi, I'm Susie Cahill, Director of Healthy Dent County Fitness Center. Are you looking for a place to begin your journey to better health? Come inside. Never in my life have I been in another atmosphere where everyone was so friendly and eager to help others. It's not just the staff, it's the members. They're so passionate about what they do and so excited to help you. If you're ready to begin your journey to better health, come by and see us. There's a place for do-it-yourselfers with everything for your Canage Auto Supply has these great deals going on now. Get a Flow Tool Super Duty 20 Quart Less Best Drain Pan for $10.99. A Performance Tool Suction Gun only $12.99. And a Performance Tool 3 Pound Sledgehammer is $16.99. Canage Auto Supply, your Park City Auto Parts store in Salem. Park City. Yeah, Park City. Park City. Have you tried the new Family Bistro in Bunker? Well, let me tell you about Big Mama's Buchetto Bistro and Hotel. They have homemade lunch and dinner specials and a food bar. Plus, they have delicious cheesecakes and other desserts. For carryout orders, call 689-2782 or check them out on Facebook, Big Mama's Buchetto Bistro and Hotel. Open seven days a week. Well, we're getting ready for the second half. Both teams are back on the floor. So this should be good. Hope you're ready for it. Bunker and South Iron. The first of what may be three games this year. We do have the Black River League tournament that they have. And then, of course, district play. They are in the same district, and they could face each other yet once again. That's what kind of makes it kind of fun. Face the team a couple of times during the season. And then when it's all on the line, there are not many surprises they can throw at you. Bunker will inbound the ball to start this second half. They lead it by two. It's Bullock getting it into Sutton. Sutton back to Bullock. Salem, I should say Bunker, start out this first, first half. Very, very patient. Got a little bit quicker as the game progressed. But right now, it looks like they're going back to that strategy of starting out slow. Salem does that. A lot of schools do that when they play South Iron to try and get them to make a commitment, trying to get them out of position. Right now with it, Henderson goes back to Bullock. Keeping it out high right now are the Eagles as Bullock gets a little pick from Sutton, goes back to him with the ball. He's guarded there by Rubel. Sutton starts his dance in, goes back to Bullock for a long three. It's off the edge of the rim, and it goes out of bounds off the hands of Owen Sanders. He slid into the bleachers hard. I hope he's okay. Shot by Bullock, just scraped the edge of the rim up there. Panthers looking to tie or take the lead here. They go into the corner. There is Huff. Out on top, Dinkins. Dinkins starts his drive down low. Running jumper, missed it. Ball comes out into the hands of Loxa. Down to Bullock. Bullock all the way down. Lays it up and does not go, but he is fouled. And a foul called on Sawyer Huff. Sorry, called on Mark. Tease, uh, uh, Martez Burst, excuse me. Free throw was good. Hey, stay back there. We don't want to get beat. 24-21. Next free throw, also good. 
25-21. Locks in, creating a little havoc on Burse, who goes by him. Burse right side pass to Dinkins. Dinkins out near center court. At the bunker, Eagle insignia goes left side to Rubel. Rubel goes in that corner, waiting for there's Huff. Huff trying to get away from Loxa. Pass back to Burse. Burse out on top, Rubel. Again, patience right now by both teams. Huff in the corner. I'm thinking it's in the corner. Across to Huff. Huff stops, spins back outside to Rubel. To Dinkins between the circles, trying to drive to the left, trying to force the ball through, and a kicked ball called on Loxa. Andre got his foot out there, kicking style, and official blow. Stays with the Panthers. We played almost two minutes of this third quarter. Both teams have been very patient starting out. Huff has it. Huff left side pass, Dinkins. Dinkins. Bounce pass left side to Burst, the three-pointer off the iron, and foul called on Rubel as he pushed off on Bullock, and then the ball went off him anyway. So Rubel now has three, second foul on South Iron. Pressure, full court pressure again by South Iron. Panthers are very good at this four court pressure and even full court pressure. Back to Bullock, trying to get away from Rubel. He's got three fouls already. Long pass down to Sanders. Now to Cage. I thought he was going to slam it. He lays it home. He's got 10. The lead back to six. Burst the other way for the Panthers. Burst between the circles. Left side pass to Dinkins. Colton Dinkins in the corner. Huff to drive in. Goes right over top. The charge is called on Huff. Going over top of Romello Henderson. That's his first foul, third now on the Panthers. Inbound to Henderson, back to Bullock. Bullock, long pass intended, stolen away by Burst, all the way down, out to, for the three is Dinkins. Couldn't see who was shooting as official got right in my eyesight, but Dinkins hits the three after the steal. So important. Right now, Bullock has trouble getting it back on top to Henderson. 27-24, Eagles on top. Henderson double teamed and a timeout called by Coach Gorman. 4.52 to go, third quarter. 27 for Bunker, 24 for South Iron. Back in 30 seconds, this is Eagle basketball on KM. GNS Convenience Store in Bunker is your one-stop shop. Stop in to top off your tank. They've got gas and diesel. Come inside and pick up your groceries. Get a coffee or soda to go. Some snacks for the kiddos. Or head to the deli counter for fresh meats and cheeses. GNS Convenience Store in Bunker has a little bit of everything. And they're open seven days a week. For those watching, in case you just joined us, the Panthers of South Iron, they're in their black uniforms with the burgundy and white trim and the white letters. Bunker in the white uniforms with the green trim. Shoulder caps and on the shorts. Right now it's Henderson with the ball. Henderson back to Cade's son. Left side pass to Bullock, the three-pointer. Short. Comes down in the hands of Burst. Marquez Burst the other way to Martez Burst. Marquez. Down the corner, the three from Rubel, it's good, and we're tied. Gabe Rubel hits that three, 27-27. Inbound comes to Sutton, back to Bullock. Bullock, pass to Henderson. Henderson starts to drive up, getting it to Loxa in the offensive zone. Loxa down low to Sutton, and a foul's gonna be called on number 23, Will Malone. His third foul, Rubel with three, Marquez bursts with three, and now Malone with three. 27-27, our score. The inbound comes to Sutton, puts a shot up and good on the inbound. Nice pass by Bullock. Cade went up, got it in his full 
extension, just put it home. Burst, handing the ball off to Dinkins. Standing room only here at Bunger. Bounce pass, goes down low to Marquez. I should say to Mar Martez Burst. Don't want to get those confused. And he is fouled en route to the basket. First foul on Owen Sanders. And the free throw is good by Burris. Hey, take that back. Free front. Owen in the middle. Free front. Next one is also good. We're tied again. Jane Bullock will pick it up, trying to beat this full court press down to Sutton. Back to Bullock. Bullock to the timeline. Trying to get by Marquis Burris. Does, hands it off to Sutton. He slows it down, now starts to drive in. Trying to scoop it up, no good. Ball taken under the basket by Hunter Huff. Okay, tried to finger roll that one, it just didn't go. Now all the way down and foul called on Bunker, I believe on Romello Henderson on a reach in. Oh, they're gonna call it on Cade. Okay, Sutton his first. That'll put Marquise Burst at the line to shoot two. Free throw is no good. 3.29 to go third quarter. Low scoring contest. Both teams have played some pretty good defense here tonight. Marquise next one is good and South Iron has their first lead of the game, 30 to 29. Inbound pass, comes to Loxa over the timeline, driving by Huff, stops, looking down low, getting it there, Sanders now to Sutton. Outside it goes to Romello Henderson, shots way too short, knocked out of bounds by Loxa. Houston comes in. The inbound pass comes to Burst. Burst almost walked with it. Pulls it back down just in time. Back to Dinkins. Colton Dinkins. Bounce pass to Huff. Short jumper. Banks it in off the glass. Sawyer Huff. 32-29. The pass comes in to Sutton. Tips it to himself. Sutton all the way down. Lays it up and in. Heck of a play by Cade Sutton to just deflect that ball to himself and then take it all the way to the house. Burst flips it down, tended for Rubel. Rubel drives in, fires it across. Huff drives in to the paint and he is gonna be fouled in route. He'll shoot two. Sawyer Huff seeing a little opening there and driving to the paint. Foul called on Romello Henderson, his third. 32-31, South Iron. Free throw is good. Coming back in is Marquis Burst for Dinkins. Sawyer Huff's next one is no good. Sutton brings that one down. Here's Bullock. Bounce pass across to Henderson. His pass intended for Loxa knocked out of bounds. Martez read that one really well, saw Loxa down there and just came over and just deflected it out of bounds. Here's Sutton, it's bunker down by two now. Kate takes the three, it's good! Kate Sutton gives Bunker the lead by one. Burst goes back to Marquis Burst. Burst all the way down, short jumper. That one trickles wide after going off the backboard, brought down by Sanders. He dishes it off to Bullock, trying to get it down low to Loxa, and it will be long to South Iron. 
Locks it just couldn't get there in time. Got a finger on it, but couldn't control it. The inbound coming to Burst. 34-33, two minutes to go, third quarter. Burst has it beyond three. Moves to the middle of the floor. Goes left side, Rubel. Way beyond the three-point line. Now to Marquis Burst. Marquis back to Martez. He angles side to Rubel, down low to Marquis, trying to go baseline. Does, shot blocked. But a blocking foul called on Bunker, and to the line will go Marquis Burst. Like the foul is going to be called. On Henderson, now he's got four. Free throw is good. By Marquis. Again, tied 34-34 as Sawyer Huff checks out. Hunter Huff checks out. Kruger in the game. Malone in the game. Next one is no good. Sutton brings that one down. He's had a strong rebound in the game. That's his seventh to Bullock. One and a half to go. Long pass down to Houston. Backdoor pass to the locks up. Hands again and out of bounds. So Bunker with five turnovers now to South Irons one here in this third quarter. Game tied 34-34. Marquise burst, left side pass, Rubel down to Martez for the three, and he's got it. Martez now with seven in the game. 37-34, Sutton to Bullock. Bullock gets by two men, down low, kicks it outside. Now to Sutton, Sutton his own three, off the iron, no good. And the ball's taken down. By Burst, Burst the other way. Jump shot for three, no good. And Sanders goes up to bring that one down. Quickly the other way, Bullock fouled there by and Eli Kruger, his first. 37-34, 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. Back and forth, back and forth. Jaden Bullock to inbound it. Flips that out high to Sanders. Sanders gets it and then hands it right to Burst. Knocks it away and taken back and stolen back by Bunker. The other way, Bullock all the way down and a blocking foul is going to be called on Eli Kruger. Kruger his second foul, team sixth. And Bunker will be in the bonus the rest of the game. 26.9 seconds left. Malone checks out. Henderson will come in. Bullock trying to get it in. Does to Henderson in the corner. Romello backs out. Goes to Bullock in the corner. Bullock trying to drive in. Stops inside to Cade Sutton. Down low. Trying to get it to Sanders. Stolen away. Quick pass the other way. Here's Rubel. The jump shot is good. Gabe Rubel now has seven. Seven seconds left. Down to Sutton. Sutton with five seconds left. Sutton all the way down. One second shot. No good. Puts back the rebound. And they say no good. Got his own rebound and put it back, but it's no good. And after three quarters of play, South Iron has rallied to take the lead with an 18-point third quarter. They lead Bunker 39-34. We've got another quarter left, and we're one minute away from that. This is Eagle Basketball on KSMO Media. Sorry, Dad. Sure, you could get him a new car. You could also light a pile of money on fire. Because as long as Mr. It Wasn't My Fault takes the wheel on occasion, maintaining this car is your best option. So keep it running longer, stronger, with quality parts and a whole lot of Napa know-how. 
Jeff, where are you going? Relationships. It's not just being on a first name basis. It's a partnership built on trust. This is Scott Ball, president of the Bank of Salem. Since 1883, the Bank of Salem has been serving our local community with the kind of personal service and professionalism that builds relationships. We've earned the trust of our customers with over a century of strength and stability, never once changing our name or compromising customer service. Stop by one of our two locations in Salem, visit our website, or download our free mobile app. The Bank of Salem, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Fourth quarter action. I want to thank our sponsors again for making it possible for us to be here for this Bunker South Iron game. People's title sponsor. I want to thank them. Big Mama's Buccello Bistro, GNS Convenience Store, Love of God Ministries, Keisha J.R. Myers, Melinda Ritter, and r, &R Lawn Care. Here's Rule for the corner for the three. It will not go. Taken down by Bullock. He is grabbed, and that'll be a one and one situation for Jaden Bullock. Foul called on Colton Dinkins, his first. So Bullock right now, three of six from the stripe. Bunker down by five, needs to hit these. Henderson will check out as Evan Houston comes back in. Free throw is no good, and going up getting that is Martez Burst. He has it, giving it across to Huff. Sawyer Huff, right side pass to Rubel. Back on top, Dinkins. Dinkins turns back to Burst. Burst between the side, Rubel. Out on top, it goes to Dinkins. Dinkins. Flips it in a corner to Rubel. He takes another three. This one's off the iron. And foul called, I believe, underneath the basket as somebody went over the top of somebody else. There were three of them down on the floor. I'm not going to tell you who did which. And the foul's going to be called on Martez Burst going over the back. That will put... Andre Loxa, Loxa at the line. He got a two back in the second quarter, and he's been held off the board since. Free throw. It is no good. Brought down by Burst. And free throws starting to hurt Bunker a little bit, under 50%. Bounce pass comes to Huff. Turnaround jumper is off the iron. It's no good. And blocked there on Sanders. Brought down by Kruger. The long three up. Off the iron and brought down by Tigers player, put I should by Let Eagle player, Sutton, and put in by Bullock. Three point ball game. The other way bursts. All the way across to Huff. Huff stops, puts up the three himself. It's off the iron. No good. Brought down by Rubel. Rubel back to Huff. Huff out trying to get away from Loxa. Cross to Burst. Marquis Burst backs it out near center court. Goes inside to Huff. Huff turns, wants to jump, spins, puts it up. No good. Brought down by Sanders. He's had a good rebounding game. He's got six in this contest. Here's Sutton. Cade stops. Three-pointer trying to tie it. No good. Chip goes right down the hands of Sanders. Back to Sutton. Sutton's short jumper will not go, but he draws the foul on, Eric, on Eli Kruger. Kruger's third. Cade will shoot two. Bunker trails by three. 6.09 to go in this, the fourth quarter. Sutton's free throw. Good. He's got 18 in the game. And a timeout called by Coach Dusty Dinkins. 39-37, back in 30 seconds with more basketball action from the Bunker High School Gym. This is Eagle Basketball on KSMO Media. I'm Dr. Tiffany Bland with Salem Memorial District Hospital. Recently, there have been many changes within our local clinics and hospitals, and you may find yourself looking for a new provider for your children. At SMDH, we would like to reach out to the community to let you know that we do see patients of all ages. 
Both of our providers are family practice, which means that we have been trained to see well child visits as well as sick visits. Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. Everybody will be back in Bunker for their high school graduation in May, the first Saturday of May. We believe that's the date. And uh, we look forward to serving them here in the Bunker area. KSMO Media and the Bunker High School graduation 2023. Kate, it's another one. Kate Sutton, five of six from the stripe tonight. The inbound comes to burst, but knocked away, but it goes right to Dinkins. Dinkins trying to fire back to burst, back to Dinkins. Little collision there, Dinkins takes the three and he hits. Colton Dinkins hits that three and now it's a four point lead. 51. Locks almost got that steal. Knocked it away, but it went right to Dinkins and then a little collision among two other players. No fouls called, but it created havoc and then Colton Dinkins able to hit that three. He's got 12 on the night. The inbound comes to Cade Sutton from Bullock. Trying to get away from Dinkins. Flips it back to Bullock. Into the offensive zone. 540 to go. Bullock pulls up to Sutton. The three-pointer from the corner off the iron. Comes out high to Dinkins. Dinkins the other way. Dinkins all the way down off the glass. No good. And Sutton has that rebound. Long pass to Bullock. Bullock all the way down. Stops. And a blocking foul called on Hunter Huff. Hunter Huff with his third foul. Five twenty-three to go. So Bullock will shoot two. Free throw is good. Four of eight right now is Bullock from the free throw line. Forty-two thirty-nine. Still a one possession game here. Next free throw is no good, but brought down and stolen away by Sutton. Sutton back out on top. Loxa. Back to Bullock. Bullock trying to drive in. Stops. Turns. Spins. Lost the ball. Still taking loose. And a timeout called by Bunker after Bullock falls on the ball. So the rebound brought down by Malone, but stolen away by the Eagles. And they are able to retrieve the ball and call timeout. 42-39 our score. We'll come back in 30 seconds. It's South Iron on top. This is Eagle Basketball on KSMO Media. Duncan Family Chiropractic provides chiropractic care to everyone from newborn to elderly. Dr. Duncan treats wellness, sports injuries, chronic ear infections, pregnancy, and more. Ask Dr. Duncan about your full line of supplements, including Juice Plus and Standard Process Supplements, as well as pain relief, BioFreeze products. Back of the Bunker High School gym. No place to sit in this place. Got people outside looking through the class on top. They got them down the hallways. It's a jam-packed gym for this matchup. Right now, Bullock trying to take the three. It's blocked by Burst. Back comes Burst all the way down, lays it up and in. Gets the basket and the foul on Henderson, and he's finished. Martez Burst after the block at the ball and was able to come back. Henderson will foul out. If that is who it's on, I'm pretty sure it is. Still haven't posted it on the board. 
But Henderson fouls out again with three points, three rebounds. And the free throw is good by Martez Burst. He's now got 10. The inbound comes to Sutton, double teamed. Goes back to Bullock. 4.48 to go. Bunker down now by six. 45-39. Here's Cade Sutton trying to dance through. She banks it in. He's got 22. 45-41. Pass in the corner. Shot partially blocked. Comes back in the hands of Dinkins, though. As Cole's shot was blocked. Now going up high to get it. His burst. Back to Dinkins again for another three. He's got it again. He gets hot, you can't leave him alone. Right now it's a seven point lead. Sutton over to Bullock. Bullock driving down. And a foul called. Foul called on Martez Burst. 48-41, our score. And a timeout called by South Iron. 4.08 remains. We're going to come back with more exciting high school basketball in just 30 seconds on KSMO Media. If you have the audacity to believe a financial advisor should talk with not you. If you believe access to your financial advisor should be a right, not a privilege. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. Join us. At Edward Jones, it's how we make sense of investing. Forty-eight, forty-one. Bunker will be shooting free throws. Try and close the gap. It's a three possession game right now. Jane Bullock should be back at the line. He's got 13 points in the night, but he has struggled from the free throw line. Under five, under 50%. Four of nine right now. See his bunkers in a double bonus the rest of the way. Free throw is good. Martez checks out. Marquis comes in. The bursts just switch spots. He hits them both. Five point South Iron lead as Huff brings it up. Sawyer flips it down in the corner to Marquis. Marquis bursts. Top of the key goes to Gabe Rubel. Rubel will hang on to it. Guarded there by Kate Sutton. Bounce pass downloaded to Sawyer Huff. Huff shot no good. But a foul is going to be called on Owen Sanders. Got to be his second. To the line goes one for two from the strike. Makes that one. 3.52 left on the clock, 49-43. Eagles had a 16-7 lead after one quarter and 23-21 lead at half. They have not been able to keep that scoring momentum up. A few too many turnovers. Not a terrible amount, but enough. But they can't get a momentum going, stopping. On a time was Bullock, he has the ball back. Now to Sutton between the circles, starting to drive in. Sutton stops, back to locks it back to Sutton. Almost lost it and does lose it. Ball taken on the possession arrow, still favors Bunker. As Marquis was able to take that ball away from Cade Sutton, but tying a ball up was Sutton along with Houston. So they were able to maintain possession here. The inbound comes to Sanders. Back to Bullock. Bunker getting all their scoring from Sutton and Bullock here. 
Bullock trying to get a pick. Who's right to left. Stops. Still out high. Gets separation with 3.10 to go. Bunker down by seven. And a timeout called by Coach Gorman. 3.09 remains. 50 for South Iron. 43 for Bunker. We're going to come back in just 30 seconds. This is Eagle Basketball on KSMO Media. I am a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and I'm here to talk about life, your life, your dreams, your work, your family, and how you can protect it all with a company that will talk to you with the honesty of a farmer and take care of you with the integrity of a neighbor. I'll make sure no detail is left uncovered so your family can breathe easy. Because just like you, I chose to build a life in Missouri too. I'm a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and I'm from Missouri for life. Yes. 50-43. And again, we want to thank all our sponsors for making it possible for us to be here this evening. People's Bank here in Bunker. Well, what a great sponsor they have been. Locally, they do support a lot of activities down here. Big Mama's Bocetto Bistro, GNS Convenience Store. The Love of God Ministries, Keisha and J.R. Meyer. Mel and Linda Ritter and the r, r Lawn Care. Thanking them for making it possible for us to be here. Bullock will inbound it. Getting it back to Loxa as Bunker needs a run here to get back in it. Panthers have methodically taken the lead back. Did so slowly but was able to get it done. Pass to Sutton. Sutton's three off the iron. Comes out high, Ritter can't bring down the rebound, and it comes down into the hands of Dinkins. Dinkins trying to get it down low. Ball tipped away, stolen by the Bunker Eagles. Ritter down to Sutton. Sutton shot off, no good. Can't bring it down and tying the ball up underneath the basket. Possession arrow will favor. South Iron. 2.36 to go, 50-34. Steal by Bunker, just couldn't get the shot off as Sutton was so tightly defended. Here comes Huff, the other way. Down to Marquis, burst to Rubel. Stolen away by Sutton to Loxa in the offensive zone. Loxa going back to Bullock. Bullock hanging on to it. With 2.15 to go, Bunker needs seven points to tie it up. Sutton to Bullock, a long three off the iron. No good, brought down and controlled by Burst. Burst the other way, and a foul's gonna be called, I believe, on Sutton as he knocked that ball out of bounds. Okay, that's his second. With 2.02 to go, 50-43. As Martez Burst will go to the line. He's got four fouls himself. It's a one and one. He's three of three though from the stripe. Free throw is short, brought down by Sanders. Sanders looking for some help. Can he get back to Bullock? Bullock turns, spins. Gets away from Rubel. And a 10 count. That turns the ball over. That hurts. Nobody came back to help out Jaden Bullock, and he had to try and get across the line himself. Couldn't do it. Panthers have it to get into burst. Martez down. Floater. Good. He's got 12, and the lead now goes to nine. It's a three possession. Lead for South Iron. Down the other way is Sutton, all the way to the baseline. Ball off of Hunter Huff. It'll stay with Bunker on the baseline with 1.35 to go. Houston checks out, Ritter back in. 52-43. The inbound is deflected, goes back out of bounds. Bullock 
Trying to get in against a much taller guy. Inbound the corner, Sutton for the three. Off the end, down by Huff. Huff the other way. The pass goes in the corner to Rubel with 125 left. He takes it to the hole, and he banks it in. He's got nine, and the lead now goes to 11. Bullock up the middle of the floor, loses the ball. Taken there by South Iron. They give it right to Sanders, who gives it back out to Loxa. Loxa back to Sanders. Bunker needs somebody to shoot the ball, and he gives it away. Another steal. As Burst comes all the way down, he'll lay it up and then draw the foul against Ritter. Well, six steals of the 10 turnovers here in the second half for Panthers, and they scored on every one of them. And they lead it by 13 right now with under a minute to go as Burst will shoot the free throw. It's good. Fifty nine seconds to go. Fifty seven forty three and South Irons going to win this first of what might be three match up this year. Here's Sanders running jumper. No good. Put back up by Cade Sutton, but a foul is called. Foul called on Hunter Huff, his fourth. Sutton to the line, he will shoot two. He hits the first. Bunker unable to score any baskets in this second half. They've been really, really held back. They were able to get some early on in the game. Let's give credit to South Iron. They have really limited their scoring chances on the floor, but really only two guys from Bunker shooting the ball, making it kind of rough. As Sutton hits them both, Bullock and Sutton have done 95% of the shooting. All the way down is Huff, he lays it home. Sawyer Huff now has 10. And Sutton the other way, 36 seconds left. To Bullock, a long three, trying to bank it in. It almost wedges. Does not, comes down in the hands of Will Malone, and he is fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two with 30.5 seconds left. A lot of free throw shooting in this fourth quarter by both teams. Bunkers had eight, nine attempts, and South Iron right now will have their sixth and seventh. Malone's free throw is no good. Close game all the way through until this fourth quarter when Bunger's been able to get two baskets while South Iron has scored eight. And they have pulled away now with a 14-point lead with 30 seconds left. Make it 15 now after the free throw by Malone. 60-45. A very entertaining game, though, even though it has come up a little bit short. A long three by Sutton, no good. Brought down there by Hunter Huff, long pass the other way. Pulling up is Dinkins, fires it back up in the air. Ball tipped around, goes out of bounds, off of Bunker. Now the Eagles gave it their all. South Panthers do what they do best. They just annoy you and annoy you and annoy you, and they finally create some havoc, force you into turnovers, make you play their game, and they play their game better than anybody else. And they're going to win this one, going away 60-45 to 45 over the Bunker Eagles. Glad that you could be with us on KSMO Media. We're going to come back in three minutes with stats from this one. If you want to stick around on KSMO Media, your hometown media station. Every project is different, which is why Salem Trust uses modern engineering software to design, then construct quality trusses for your home, barn, or business. The size of the job doesn't matter, but the quality of the work does, which is why Salem Trust will deliver their trusses anywhere. 
proud to support the Salem community. They're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 4.30 and Friday from 7.30 until 11. For more information, call Salem Trust at 729-9276. Southwest Baptist University campus in Salem provides quality higher education close to home for residents of Dent County and the surrounding areas. The classes at SBU Salem campus are taught in the afternoon and evenings, making a degree attainable for people who are in the workforce or can't afford to go off to get a degree. We offer degrees in nursing, which is an RN bridge program, elementary education. For more information on the degrees and programs, please contact admissions counselor Chris Welch to schedule an appointment as a prospective or returning student. Your legacy. Protect it, prosper, and pass it on. Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, specializes in real estate, estate planning, probate, family law, and business law. A Salem native, Stephen Patterson provides comprehensive representation to clients throughout Southern Missouri. If you need assistance, contact Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, at 573-453-2529. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent cameron Irway in salem today like a good neighbor state farm is there with tax season fast approaching you might have some questions that you need answered if so give the tax masters a call they have over 40 years of experience and can handle all types of accounting services plus certified e-filing don't ever let yourself be a slave to the IRS. Come and see Jackie or Beth at Taxmasters located at 107 West 4th Street here in Salem or call 729-3001. That well, was a very interesting game all the way into the fourth quarter when South Iron pulled away and will win tonight over Bunker by a score of 60-45. to 45. As I mentioned before we went to break, the South Iron Panther team, they are a, a very, very disciplined and good team. And what they do is they press and they force and they make you make mistakes. Even though you, you try and be patient, try and do the right thing, they just force you and they start just trying to change the pace of the game. And when you try and keep up with them, that's where you usually fall short. And unfortunately for Bunker, they don't have that kind of depth to do that. And they don't have the balanced scoring to do that like South Iron did. South Iron tonight, three gentlemen with double figures. Bunker had two, but those two made up uh, of the 50, 45 points they had made up the 40 points. So you've got to find some more balanced scoring, and that's what the Bunker Eagles are going to need to do next time they play South Iron and try and mix it up a little bit because once they know that there's only going to be two guys shooting the ball, they're going to pretty well concentrate their efforts on them and make it very difficult to open shots or what I would call comfortable shots in the game. So South Iron wins at 60-45. Very close game all the way for three quarters. You see the tide start to change about the middle of that third quarter. Bunker is holding on to the lead, but then uh, pretty well the pace of the game started to change. And Colton Dinkins hit a three after a ball was blocked. It came back to him in the third quarter. And then he turned around, was able to get that ball back, and then hit that three. That seemed to just kind of deflate a little bit, take a little bit of the steam out of it. And, of course, uh, you can't deny Gabe Rubel's three in that third quarter as well. He got in the corner and had been held to two points the entire game, and then he just smoked a three and then followed up with another two right away. And then suddenly the balanced scoring of South Iron started to shine through. Leading scorer in the game was Gabe. Arcade Sutton, excuse me, 23 points. He had nine rebounds. 
in the contest. 17 points for Jaden Bullock. He had nine of those, though, in the quarter, and then was held off the board until he got a two in the fourth quarter, and he uh, was shooting basically 50% from the free throw line. So 17 points for Jaden, 23 for Cade. Bunker finishes with 45. You get the idea. Romello Henderson had three. Andrea Lox and Andre Loxon had two. Leading rebounder, uh, I should say second rebounder for our bunker, Owen Sanders had a real good game with seven rebounds. Three for Romello Henderson, a couple for Loxa, one for Bullock, one for Evan Houston in the game for a bunker. They were 14 to 21 for the free throw line. They had 17 turnovers, six steals. South Iron had leading scores, two of them, by the way, 15 for Martez Burst, 15 for Colton Dinkins, 10 for Sawyer Huff, 9 for Gay Rubel, came up just one short, being double figures, 6 for Marquise Burst, 3 for Will Malone, 2 for and that balanced out their scoring all the way through. They were 11 of 18 for the free throw line. Leading rebounder was Sawyer Huff with 6, 3 for each Burst boy. Two for Malone and Dinkins. Hunter Huff had two. One for Gabe Rubel in the contest. 11 of 18 for the free throw line was South Iron. They had 12 turnovers, nine steals. In that second half, Bunker had 10 turnovers. Six of them were stole, uh, steals by South Iron, and South Iron scored on all six. That's at least 12 points, and when you do that, that's your difference in the game, 60 to 45, on those steals that uh, ended up with points. Bunker had four steals in that second half, but only one ended up as a score for Bunker. That's where the difference is. Romello Henderson did foul out in the fourth quarter, and he finished with three points in this one. Interesting game, fun game. Really a good, high intense game. Great crowd on hand, a lot of excitement, great basketball game, high school action. We hope you enjoyed it here from the Bunker High School gym as the South Iron Panthers swept the Lady Eagles and the Boy Eagles here tonight at Bunker. In the first game, it was the Lady Eagles 78, the Bunker 39, and in the boys game 60 to 45. Again, we hope you enjoyed it here on KSMO Media. We appreciate all those who streamed with us. No matter how you got uh, got us, whether you're in Salem or somewhere else, found it out. Uh, we hope that you join us again for our, our next uh, broadcast. will be Friday night. It'll be a Salem game. They'll host the Elder Mustangs from the Salem High School gym. For Ben doing the controls, my name is Stan Stevens. Thank you for joining us for Eagle Basketball from Bunker High School. I want to thank Superintendent Melissa Nash and the entire staff here at Bunker for making us feel so at home. And I want to thank all of you for joining us. And before we leave, we want to thank our sponsors one last time. For without them, we're not here. And we do really appreciate the local support that Bunker gives their kids, and that's really fantastic. Again, we will be here in May for their graduation again, streaming it live. If you can't make it, you can stream it right here on KSMO Media. Here's those sponsors again. People's Bank, our title sponsor for the game tonight. Big Mama's Pacetto Bistro. Also GNS Convenience Store. The Love of God Ministries. Keisha and J.R. Meyer. Mel and Linda Ritter. And r, r Lawn Care. Again, we thank these sponsors. For without them, we can't be here to do what we do to bring you this game. We hope you enjoyed it. And uh, no matter who wins it, though, the idea is we're bringing it to a whole new group of people. Hopefully you get a chance to uh, see high school basketball's finest. It was a pretty good game, that last one, between South Iron and Bunker. So, again, hope you enjoyed that contest. Have yourselves a happy new year from all of us at KSMO Media. And we hope you join us in the future sometime for a Salem game where we will be looking to try and come back to get a couple more Bunker games in this year. And we will let you know when that is possible. Have yourselves a great evening and good night from the Bunker High School Gym. Thank you for watching this special broadcast of Bunker Eagles basketball. Tonight's game was brought to you by People's Community Bank, GNS Convenience Store, Big Mama's Fuchetto Bistro, Mel and Linda Ritter, Keisha and Junior Meyer. 
R and R Lawn Care, Love of God Ministry, N H Auto Supply, Salem Memorial District Hospital, Farm Bureau Insurance, Bank of Salem, Napa Mune Auto Supply, Progressive Ozark Bank, Tax Masters, Southwest Baptist University, Salem Campus, Town and Country Insurance, Carroll Complete Auto Care, Edward Jones. Duncan Family Chiropractic, State Farm Insurance, Salem Trust, South Town Furniture, Stephen Patterson, Attorney at Law, Living the Dream Outdoor Property, Wilson Mortuary, Elwood Real Estate, Dent County Vet Clinic, Line by Design Health Center, Hometown Mechanical, Ozark Overhead Door, Healthy Dent County, and Town Screen LLC.